Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is back in session. Reprise de l'audience. And uh, the floor is given to the defense teams for accused. First, Les you may proceed the defense counsel for Mr. Nguyen Chia. La défense de Nguyen Chia a la parole. Please hold ah, on, instant, Mr. Copé. Maître Copé. Judge uh, Lavergne, la la but have, uh, have some questions a to, to this uh, witness. You may not proceed. Vous avez la parole. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Je ne serai pas très long. J'ai peut-être deux Mr. ou trois President. questions à poser I aux témoins. Bonjour, Monsieur. J'aimerais que vous nous disiez si, à votre connaissance, le barrage Can du 1er janvier a été le premier barrage the first qui a été construit sur la rivière Chinit was the first ou uh, dans la région de, uh, du, de la province Chinit de Kampongtom. Est-ce que avant province. le barrage du 1er janvier, il y a eu d'autres barrages qui ont été construits, soit sur Were la barrage sur la rivière Chinit, soit à proximité either on the Chinit River or close to it in Kampontom province. <coughs> Before the existence of the 1st January Avant le barrage du 1er janvier, dam, so there was another dam which, is, which was at the 30th September dam. Il y avait le barrage du However, 13 I do septembre. not uh, know exactly about this uh, previous dam. Mais je n'ai pas d'autres informations par rapport à d'autres barrages. The 1st January dam uh, was built in 1978, so it was considered the second dam to be Et l'on estimait que c'était le deuxième barrage ainsi construit. Donc l'autre barrage auquel vous avez fait allusion, le barrage du 30 septembre avait été construit après 1975 ou avant 1975. The 30th September dam Le barrage was built du 30 septembre in after 1975. a été construit après 1975. J'ai appris que ce barrage avait été construit après 1975, en 1979 ou 1980, après la chute du régime. On a beaucoup parlé pour la construction du barrage, des travaux qui consistaient à transporter de la terre et à, cre à créer des, des digues en terre. Mais il me semble que pour les barrages, il fallait en plus qu'il y ait des ouvrages en béton. Et pour créer ces ouvrages en béton, il fallait du ciment to build the dam. And to have concrete, you would need materials in fer or in acier. As well as Est-ce que vous avez été témoin de la construction des ouvrages en béton? Did you witness the construction of the banks of the dam in concrete? No, I did not know how the, the dam was built. Je ne savais pas and quoi, uh, we comment les barrages knew only construits. what uh, we were doing at Tout our work site. I did not know where the semen or the iron steel materials je ne sais pas uh, venait were taken le from. Béton, venait les barres de fer ou de métal. Et les Personnes qui étaient affectées à la partie de l'ouvrage en béton. Est-ce que c'était des équipes de travailleurs spécialisés ou est-ce que c'était des travailleurs qui venaient des unités mobiles ou des villages environnants Est-ce que vous le savez 
who lived in the neighboring villages. Do you know anything about that? Answer. I heard that the strong, the strong workers J'ai entendu dire was elected and que les put ouvriers les plus forts avaient été choisis, sélectionnés pour aller travailler à l'endroit que vous avez mentionné, no idea. Mais je n'ai aucune idée d'éventuels techniciens ou personnes spécialisées qui seraient intervenues sur le chantier. Alors, Peut-être que cette question vous a déjà été posée. Si c'est le cas, je m'en excuse, mais je n'ai pas le souvenir d'avoir entendu, de vous entendu à ce sujet. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire si vous vous souvenez avoir vu des gens venir filmer les personnes travaillant sur le barrage du 1er janvier As for doing a video footage, I have no idea. Un tournage de film, but I non, knew je that aucune idée. I heard that uh, delegates, senior delegates dit, coming to participate in the inauguration ceremony, and I was told that uh, Chinese delegates who were also in attendance during the day. That, that is what I know. Donc vous, vous-même, le jour de l'inauguration, vous n'étiez pas présent à cette cérémonie. Uh, during the uh, inauguration ceremony, but because there were too many workers and I was uh, locating far behind and I only heard over the loudspeaker, I could not see anyone's uh, face, I mean the delegates' faces. Aucun visage, n'ai pas vu voir les visages des délégués. Vous avez parler des gens qui étaient malades sur le site et dans votre unité. Est-ce que vous pourriez nous décrire les principaux symptômes des maladies dont les personnes étaient atteintes sur le barrage Answer. For the sick in the unit or groups, most of them were sick with swelling uh, bodies or they had uh, dysenteries and diarrhea because they did not have enough salts to eat. Quand vous dites des œdèmes, ces œdèmes, ils étaient où When sur le corps Quelle partie du corps était, était touchée Which parts of the body were swollen Answer. When we had not enough food to eat, we can use... Lorsque nous ne mangeons we, pas we could use our fingers to press any parts of our body and nous we learned that the body was swelling as the result of lack of food. Et nous pouvions constater que nous souffrions d'œdème lié au manque de nourriture. Vous pouvez nous dire où vous aviez noté la présence d'œdème et quelles étaient les conséquences de ces œdèmes physiquement que ça, vous, ça entraînait des handicaps et quels étaient les, les effets de ces œdèmes 
If yes, what were those effects? Answer. General speaking, uh, no one uh, thought of everyone's else. We have to take care of our own. When we were sick with swelling, so we would go to see a medic. There was a medic, and there were no special special uh, medicines for all of us. And uh, we were prescribed with uh, the uh, rapid dropping medicines. J'ai bien, j'ai bien compris euh, ce que vous me disiez. I have indeed understood what you have said. Je n'ai pas bien compris quelles étaient les conséquences However, de ces œdèmes. Really Est-ce que ça situait au niveau des articulations Est-ce que ça empêchait les gens d'utiliser ces articulations au niveau des bras, des jambes, des coudes, des poignets Quels étaient les, les, les effets Elbows and wrists. What were the effects of those swellings? They had swellings because of lack of food. Les œdèmes étaient liés au manque de nourriture. People did not have uh, food to eat for a long period of time, they would be suffered from swellings. And uh, the medicine perhaps could be used to treat uh, that kind of swelling. And if we, have, if we had had uh, more food to eat, so we would not have uh, had the swellings. And as I said, uh, we did not care uh, about the swellings as long as uh, we tried to work hard and then uh, we could survive. Quelle était la proportion de travailleurs qui avaient des œdèmes ou qui avaient d'autres maladies. Est-ce que c'était tous les travailleurs, une partie des travailleurs, workers, toute petite partie des travailleurs A small proportion of the workers Answer. There were 30 of us in the unit, and a few of them, three or four, had swellings because of lack of food. And I did not have the full graph of information. And De vue de la situation. Within uh, our group, uh, we could uh, clearly notice groupe, that uh, one individual had a swelling, and we could uh, tell each other and uh, share that information. Les uns les autres et partager cette information. <coughs> en dehors des œdèmes, vous avez parlé d'autres symptômes. Et vous avez notamment parlé de personnes qui présentaient des diarrhées. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous en dire un petit peu plus Quelles étaient les causes de ces diarrhées Vous avez une idée des causes de ces diarrhées Quelles étaient les causes de ces diarrhées Answer. There was no hygiene in our meal. We would resort to anything to eat whenever we found it. We had whatever we found, three leaves, uh, the uh, rice, uh, palm fruits, 
or even de, uh, the herbs. Des palmiers, des herbes, du riz. Vous avez également dit qu'il y avait des travailleurs qui avaient He des clés. Stated. Est-ce que vous avez noté si des plaies s'étaient infectées et s'il si y avait des traitements pour permettre de guérir des plaies infectées were infected and did you have any treatment for such wounds answer as i told the chamber already Comme je déjà dit à la chambre, or B6. Il n'y avait uh, ni B6 ni B12. And uh, we had only rabbit trapping medicines. And there Les was a liquid in uh, the bottle used at the Et medicine. Il y avait également du liquide qui était contenu dans des flacons. Ce liquide qui était contenu dans des flacons. Est-ce que vous savez à quoi il correspondait et sous quelle forme il était administré Est-ce que c'était quelque chose que l'on buvait ou est-ce que c'était quelque chose qui était injecté we were told that uh, they were B12 nous a dit que and ce the liquid était du B12. Uh, was used to inject us and uh, as for the uh, tablets uh, we would be prescribed uh, with uh, those et tablets des to drink comprimés pouvaient être également prescrits et nous absorbions ces comprimés en absorbant le liquide en même temps qui procédait aux injections who did or administered the injections? Those who were seriously ill were refers to les gens qui étaient gravement malades étaient envoyés à l'hôpital uh, the Sankat or the commune and there Sankat, was also a mobile medic il y avait également in the unit médicale mobile et les gens de cette unité médicale mobile est-ce qu'ils se déplaçaient sur le site pour venir faire des injections mobile units have to move about on the site to administer the injections. Answer. The mobile medic uh, was stationed in a hall or a shelter and if anyone was sick and need the and need the uh, in need the injection, uh, this individual would be uh, told to go to the medic and receive the injection. That is what I learned at that time. Et est-ce que vous savez si l'unité mobile disposait des équipements nécessaires pour stériliser les seringues utilisées pour faire les injections. injections. Yes. Oui. Et comment ils procédaient à la stérilisation and how did they go about sterilizing the instruments? Answer the needles and sirens just uh, were boys every time. Je vous remercie beaucoup, monsieur. Je n'ai pas d'autres questions à vous poser. Thank you very much, sir. I have no further questions for you. 
Your statement to the investigators of the investigating judge, uh, E3-5267, uh, on the very first page, um, English 0028-2351, French 0048-2929, and Khmer 0027-1403, you said that um, at the time of Liberation in 1975, uh, you were a student at the lycée Tuol Tumpung. Um, is that correct? And, yet, and if yes, um, what were you studying at the time? Um, I was in 1975, Réponse. I was a student at the lycée Tuol Tumpung. I was in Tumpung. grade 3A in the modern uh, schooling system. A. I uh, system, uh, do not recall the uh, subject I was in at that time. Je ne plus quelle matière nous étudions. And I was about to uh, attend the examinations at that time, but uh, there was liberation before the examination. Il y a eu la libération. Um, <coughs> I'm asking you this question because um, Je vous pose at that same page you told investigators page, that um, vous avez dit aux you at one point after 1979 became an official of the Kampong Tom Provincial Water Resources and uh, Meteorology Office. Au sein um, de, du bureau do you remember or do you know why you became an official um, in Kampong Tom? Did, was that related to your education uh, before 1975? Answer. In 1979 or 1980, Réponse. I became 1980, a public servant in the agriculture office of Kampong Tom Kampong Province. I did not have a full training at that time yet, but uh, I was selected uh, to be a public servant in à ce the agriculture uh, of that province. And later on, I uh, moved to work in the uh, Kampong Tom Provincial Water Resources and Meteorology Office. Et de de la province de Tom. I have received uh, trainings afterwards, after 1979, limited trainings. Suivi différentes formations and in which year did you become succinct. a provincial water resources Question, uh, official in Kampong, in Kampong Tom? À Kampong Tom, vous avez travaillé donc pour le bureau de l'hydrologie de la météorologie. No. It was in 2000. Réponse. The the government established. En l'an 2000. The Ministry of uh, Water Resources and eau. Water Resources and Meteorology uh, was uh, separated from the Agriculture Ministry in 2000. A Il y avait le de part um, et le a, a little bit further de down, in, part, um, en 2000. the same statement, uh, English. Question. Dans cette même déposition, 0028-2354, French 0048-2932, and Khmer 0027-1407, you gave um, the following answer to a question. The question was, can you 
compare the old and the new dam systems. And then you answered, and I quote, uh, from 1979 until 1990, we still used the old dam of Pol Pot. After 1990, the dam was damaged. Then the ministry became began restoration Ensuite, work. A commencé à Beginning le in 2000, a new project 2000, was created. Un nouveau projet a vu le jour. Um, I'm particularly interested in um, the use of the dam between 1979 and 1990. Um, what can you tell us about the functioning of the dam in those years? Did the first January dam um, function properly? Le barrage um, what is it that you can tell us about that? Que pourriez-vous nous dire à ce sujet Answer. Réponse. After the fault of the regime in 1979, we still used the old dam because the old dam was literally uh, was destroyed uh, very little en effet, and the dam was under the responsibility of the Ministry of Agriculture. The office of that province came to be in charge of that old dam and the dam was used to secure water for uh, some Tuk and Barai districts in Kampong Tom province. And, and was the water subsequently used um, for irrigation purposes in that area? Answer. There was one feeding canal Il y avait un canal in Barai district, and the water de can Bahai. be uh, fed from that uh, canal, Donc, de ce canal uh, every day during uh, the rainy season. La and uh, the water can could be secured for Kampong Tmo, the whole Kampong Tmo uh, sub-district. And the water was also irrigated through uh, Santuk district. district de and uh, are you able to tell Question. whether after the, um, the dam came into, came into operation, si. Um, Une fois que rice a production à ce barrage, um, by the farmers in that area increased. Dans cette région a augmenté. Answer. From 1979, the water could uh, be irrigated from the feeding canal for farmers to be used on a daily basis. And the dam was uh, very beneficial and the water could be irrigated to the field and the uh, harvest appeared to be good. For example, the, the harvest uh, was about uh, three tons uh, per year or a bit lower than that. And uh, when the feeding canal uh, became uh, shallower, uh, the harvest yield uh, was less than that. We received only 60% of uh, the yield. Um, and this um, rice production of three tons per hectare, uh, was that achieved um, in 1979, 1980, 1981, etc., in subsequent years? Answer. 
We did not uh, conduct any uh, surveys, but uh, we observed the condition of uh, the nous avons uh, rice plants uh, itself, and des plants de riz. we did not uh, make any experiment, nous I mean uh, the technical experiment, but we observed the yield nous and nous the harvest uh, uh, by our own eyes. De nos propres yeux, le rendement is it, is it then fair for me to say that um, in the years between 1979 and 1990, um, the 1st January dam um, worked properly, did its job, correctement, made sure um, that water was irrigated fonction, um, and that the farmers would profit from it? aux agriculteurs de ou aux paysans de profiter de l'irrigation et de l'eau apportée par le barrage. Yes, that is correct. Exact, je crois. Um, you just mentioned in responding to questions of um, question. Vous venez de Judge Laverne, aux du um, Judge a dam called the 30 Vous September Dam. Um, now we've also, uh, we also know about a dam called the 6 January Dam. Um, are these two separate dams or are they the same? The first January dam and the sixth January dam is simply a continuation of a long stretch of dam, and the total length is 60 kilometers. The 30 September dam is located separately in another district adjacent to Simri province. I see. Um, thank you, uh, Mr. Witness. Now I would like to and go back to um, the work at the dam site. Um, you said that you yourself worked for a period of uh, three months at the, at the dam. Um, did the same apply to the other members of your um, unit, uh, the other 32? or 31 members of your unit, did they all work a period of three months? Personally, I worked there for a shorter period of time since the chief of the cooperative made a request to the unit chief to have me transferred to work in the village. When the request was made, I was very scared. But I could not do anything, and he came to in person to make such a request. So I was then transferred to work in the village, and I didn't work fully at the first January Dam work site. Um, if it was not three months that you worked at the dam, would you be able to give an estimate as to how many um, weeks um, you worked uh, in total at the dam? Sur le site du barrage au total, à travailler. I never thought of the number of days I worked there. Nombre de jours que j'ai travaillé là-bas. However. I spent uh, quite uh, uh, a rather long time working at the first January Dam work site. Although I did not uh, work there for a complete three month period, uh, I worked there for quite a long time, uh, maybe almost uh, for three months.
peut-être même presque trois mois. And I did not think of the, the, the number of days I worked there as whenever I woke up I thought of uh, simply going to work. Jour, lorsque je me réveillais, je pensais simplement au fait que je devais aller travailler. So was it then only a, a few days, maybe one or two weeks, Donc um, passé, that you left before the other members of your unit went back to the village? Le site du barrage pour rentrer au village que quelques jours avant les autres ouvriers, voire même une ou deux semaines avant les autres oubliés, ouvriers. The unit that I worked under remained there. Réponse, avec and I myself uh, attached to the unit. And as for the workers, under the unit, remains working for the unit until the fall of uh, the regime. In my case, it was uh, rather different as it was requested by the cooperative chief uh, to return to work in the village. Question. Um, but the remaining people from your unit, the other 32 or 31, um, did they all work three months at the dam? And if yes, um, how did you know since you had left them at one point? Immediate after the three month period, Réponse. and that is after I returned to work in the village, I no longer uh, knew what happened uh, to that uh, dude's unit. Um, when you were asked to leave. Question. Um, the unit and go back to the village. Um, did, do you know whether the other members of your unit um, knew where you were going? Were you able to tell them that you were asked to go to the village? For those people whom I worked closely with, I told them that I was requested Réponse, for transfer by the cooperative chief. I was rather concerned uh, with the request. However, I couldn't do anything, and I only told those people who were close to me about the request for transfer. Um, but is it fair to say that it turned out that you um, were concerned um, for nothing in, in terms of yourself? When someone was being requested Réponse. to be transferred, that individual would have a rather big concern. Only upon the arrival at the destination, then, as in my case, it was a relief. I understand. Um, you spoke about um, a group of around 33 people, of which uh, you were a member. Um, yesterday, you also spoke about this group being part of a much larger uh, group consisting of a uh, thousand people. Um, in your statement to the investigators, you talked about five to six hundred people. Um, would you be able to give an estimate as to the total amount of uh, workers that your group was part of? Was it 600 or was it rather 1,000? 
Y avait-il 1000 personnes ou y avait-il plutôt 600 personnes So the second unit is about 500. The maximum number of the workers there was between 500 to 600. So would it then be correct for me to say that if there were around 600 workers divided into groups of uh, 33 members, that there were about 19 or 20 groups. Il y avait donc au total is that, is that 19 a à 20 groups? Proper calculation for me. C'est un calcul exact. I uh, cannot say for sure. However, Réponse. I Je only uh, knew well about my personal unit and my chief of the unit. Bien, um, I understand that your chief was called Lai. Um, were there then about, let's say, 17 or 18 chiefs y -il like alors Lai, people who were leading uh, their unit, their respective units? I think it is uh, about right, uh, since there were uh, a lot of workers. The most important thing for members of the uh, unit was to remember the face of the unit chief uh, well. And is it correct to say that um, in terms of quota, in terms of work, you only, you and your uh, group members only had to deal with Lai. Lai was the person uh, who was giving instructions to you. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. And the 33 members um, of your unit, um, were they all from the same village or were they coming from different villages? They came from uh, various uh, units or various villages, rather. And are you able Question. to tell which percentage of this um, group of or this unit of 33 people were old people uh, and who were which percentage was consisting of new people? Ou plutôt, quelle était la proportion de personnes du peuple ancien par rapport et quelle était la proportion du, de personnes du peuple nouveau We do not know about that whether uh, there were more base people old people and in my case I only knew about uh, ancien, a handful of workers whom I uh, was close to pour une poignée dont j'étais proche when you speak about a handful, Lorsque you mean four or five, or six, or ten? Please uh, repeat your question. You spoke about uh, a handful of people within your a uh, unit of 33 that you were close to. When you say a handful, do you, do you mean three, four or five people that you knew well? Yes, uh, that is about right. Do you remember the names of these three or four or five people um, that you were close to? Yes, I do. Question. 
Could you give me their names? Pourriez-vous me donner leur nom? I only know them by their first name. Réponse. Je ne connais que leur Con, Con, Jun, Jun, Nay, Nay. Chen and uh, Ren. Et Ren. Two of whom died Deux of illness. Eux sont morts de maladie. Question. So this were the five people, five workers in your unit that you were close to. Merci, um, là, les do you know whether they were old people or new people, de uh, these five de base, people that you just mentioned? Du peuple nouveau. They were 17 April people. We could not be friends with the best people. What about the other 28 people in your group? Um, I presume that you were not close to them. But are you able to tell whether they were new people or old people? We didn't know whether they were new people or old people si since we were not close to them. Plancien, However, from the appearance of the clothing they were wearing, we could uh, make a conclusion. If they were wearing old, torn clothes, si then it was likely that they were 17 April people. When your group of 33 was eating, did everybody at the first January dam worksite get the same food? All 33 people were eating the same portion of gruel. When we returned at the kitchen hall, we had to manage ourselves uh, for food, for example, in my case, I had my own uh, container exemple, and a spoon. Then we went to get food. Ensuite, nous and only the people at the kitchen knew who were old people or who were new people. And in my case, I only went there to receive the food and I ate the food. Um, um, but there were about five to six hundred workers. Did the people in the kitchen know of each person, uh, whether he or she was a new person or an old person? And if yes, how were they able to, to, to see that or to decide that? And if yes, how were they able to see that or to decide that? And if yes, how were they able to see that or It is my understanding that Réponse. they recognize the, the difference by the uh, clothing. Je crois la différence if the uh, clothing 
was old and torn si. and maybe your sleeves vieux. were torn off. Then they recognized that uh, they were 17 every people and if the uh, clothing was new, it, it is likely that they were si the best people. I understand that that is how you thought at the time people were divided. But my question is, how do you know for certain that the kitchen people who gave food to the workers were able to make a distinction between um, new people and old people? As I just said, it is likely that they they noticed the difference by the clothing the workers were wearing. And another distinguisher sign is that old people usually were wearing a cap, while the, the new people were wearing head made from uh, palm leaves and uh, wearing scarf. Let, let me ask you a very concrete question. Did you ever see somebody in the kitchen give less food to a person than other people getting food because he or she was wearing old clothes or a cap? des haillons ou un certain type de couvre-chef. At the food distribution area, we had to wait uh, for uh, quite nous a, a long time. Assez longtemps. And of course, uh, because we were working there for quite some time together, they knew the difference longtemps. between the old people and the 17 April people. Entre les gens du 17 avril et les gens du de base. They usually noticed by the difference of the clothing, général, by the, vêtements, la the part of the dish that they use to uh, for soup, for instance. Uh, let me ask you differently, uh, Mr. Witness, and that's my last question on the subject. Did you ever hear in the loudspeakers um, Ankar giving, giving instructions to cooks uh, that they should give more food to new people? Uh, sorry, to old people than uh, to, new, to uh, new people? No, there was not. Non. There was no such announcement. Il n'y avait pas d'annonce de la sorte. Um, Question. Now I would like to go to the topic of this uh, special unit for lazy people. J'aimerais à présent aborder um, cette unité spéciale pour gens paresseux. Do you know whether any of your unit members, any of your uh, 32 fellow unit members ever ended up in this special unit for lazy people? L'un d'entre eux s'est jamais retrouvé dans l'unité pour gens paresseux. No, uh, there was no such uh, transfer of any worker from my unit to that special unit. And when did this uh, special unit for lazy people start operating, start working? Um, was it after a while, after a few weeks, or was it there? Was this unit there from the very beginning um, when you arrived at the work site? I did not know when the, the special unit was formed. Je ne sais pas quand a été Only later, I uh, saw it. 
And people Je n'ai vu que plus talked tard. about this special unit. Et les gens ont parlé. Question. But the, did you see this group of workers at the end of your approximately three months work, or was it in the middle of your time? Can you be a little more specific? À quel moment? Au milieu de la période que vous avez passé là-bas, à la fin de la période que vous avez passé sur le site de travail, pourriez-vous être plus précis? I do not get your question. Please uh, rephrase it. Um, you were, were not quite sure as to when um, this special unit started working. My question is: Was it more toward the end of your working time there, or was it roughly in the middle? Do you remember the first time that you saw a group of people apparently belonging to some special unit? It was likely that the special unit Il est vraisemblable was formed que only when some workers were considered lazy workers and they will be placed into the newly formed special unit in order to warn other workers. And I only learned that when we lined up in the morning to start work and people talk about that special unit. Um, I understand your answer, Mr. Witness, but when you say it's likely um, you might be um, speculating. So I would like to ask you whether you know for sure um, when this unit was formed. I do not know for sure when that unit was established. Je ne sais pas As I worked in a separate unit, unit and my main focus was on my work. Cette unité a été créée, moi Do you know whether this unit Question, always had si cette unité around 20 members a toujours compté une or de membres, was this special unit si cette unité smaller in the beginning after it was formed? au moment de sa création. As I said, uh, at the beginning, and as a result, uh, members of uh, that group grew. Plus fatigué à cause du travail harassant et sont donc venus grossir ce groupe. Um, you said that you only sp spoke or that you were only close to about four or five people uh, within your unit and that you didn't speak to the remaining people from your unit. Um, is it correct to say that you also didn't speak to members of other units uh, working at the dam site. Yeah, that is uh, correct. Oui, Usually I only spoke a few words uh, each général, day and for the remaining of the day I kept my mouth shut. And how is it then that you know that people were placed in a special unit um, because they were lazy? What was the source of your information? It 
whereas the unit chief, uh, the conclusion of a, a working hour, uh, one day, the meeting was held, and the unit chief reminded us uh, to, to work hard, and he spoke about the special unit and its members. Did he also say how long people had to stay in this special unit for lazy people? Were they there for a few days or a few weeks? Do you know? The special unit continued to exist until the uh, continued to exist at the work site, and it was likely that uh, it remained uh, at the uh, cooperative. However, allow me to say if, uh, clearly that I had left uh, the work site earlier, although I presume the Special unit continued to exist. Again, Mr. Witness, um, please answer the questions only if you if you know things. But my question was actually whether you know um, if the people placed in the unit were there in this special unit were there for a few de few days only, or one day, or maybe a few weeks. Or permanently? Do you know anything about that? During the time that I worked there, I noticed the presence of the uh, workers in the special uh, unit, and I did not know for sure later on whether they were removed from the special unit. Um, Mr. President, I'm mindful of the clock. My last question in relation to this topic, uh, Mr. Witness, um, is my calculation correct when I say there are about 600 workers, um, around maximum 20 members in a special unit? Um, this would be about um, a few percent of the total amount of workers. Uh, in that special unit, is that correct? Total d'ouvriers, il n'y avait qu'un faible pourcentage qui constituait cette unité spéciale. Est-ce que ce calcul est exact? Yes, that is correct. Oui, c'est exact. Thank you, Mr. President. Maître Copé, merci, Monsieur le Président. President, thank you, Council. It is now time for our lunch break. We take a break now and resume at 1.30. Court officer, please assist the witness at the waiting room for witnesses and experts during the lunch break and invite him to return to the court room at 1.30 this afternoon. Security personnel, you are instructed to take a kiss upon through the waiting room downstairs and have him return to participate in the proceedings this afternoon before 1.30. The court is now in recess.